the most differentiatable, the most versatile interactive whiteboard game for mathematics in the world from mathsuperstore.com. This is a table tennis game. Later, there will be smaller boards. You have to have the service to score a point. Scores kept in the blue box at the top. So player one serves, and player two is asked the question, five squared. Here they're given ten seconds, so they have to work out five squared twenty-five and find it on the grid. If it's right, that box will disappear. Three squared is nine. The more boxes that disappear, the less chance that the answer will be on the board. So it adds a little bit of luck and suspense when rallies get really long. If we run out of time, remember this is player one service. Player one runs out of time. The service will be passed to player two and will not get a point. Player two serve. And now we'll get this wrong. So player two will get a point and it's their serve again. And player, player one should be 25. We'll get 225. Now player two gets two points. Why is this most versatile? The most differentiable game in the world? If we go to menu, this game is set for square numbers. Now we can set this game for any of these. We can have answers on the board or questions on the board. If we set this as equations, player one set as equations, player two is also set as equations. Now, in this game, player one is better than player two, so we're going to give player two a little bit extra time, therefore differentiating it. Player one, we're going to put the questions on the board, and now we're going to give him the same or her the same amount of time, but it's still differentiated because player one will be given the answer, and they have to find the sum that actually makes that answer, which is very difficult. So we work out what this is first. Remember the time's clicking away, so uh, it should be four. It should be three. I got it wrong. So we have four is nine, and it, the, each game will play the same way with with the rules of table tennis. So if we go, that's with questions on the board, answers on the board. So if we go to the main menu, settings for player one, player one. We, if it was too hard for player one, we can put the answers on the board and reduce time. We can also have player one doing equations and player two working on the mean. Both the answers are getting asked, so it's six, seven, ten divided by four. So you have to work it out, which is 2.5, whatever it is, there we go. And then this one's equations. Go back to the main menu. We can set the time limit. We can set answers on the board, questions on the board. But four rules. Now, four rules of arithmetic is addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. It will give you options here, setting for player one. We can choose the addition, subtraction, multiplication all the way from 10 up to 1,000. So subtraction without negatives and decimals is selected. We can choose addition. That's only addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, addition or, and subtraction. These are the questions to be asked on the board. Multiplication and division. Or we can choose all. The multiplication and division, we can reduce that down to 5 or up to 25 or up to 50 sorry we can turn decimals on and decimals off it will tell you what's selected at the top 
all are selected without negatives but with decimals now with no decimals or we could turn negatives on if we turn it all on and look at the size of the calculations and we do the same now set player 2 I will make these easy for player 2 I will not get the right answers for player, player 1 and we just want addition with, with negatives no negatives with no decimals so now we go to the menu and we play now player 1 serves we see here there's decimals, there's negative numbers here but the player 2 is very easy 2 plus 3 is 12 so a primary, a grade 6 student or year 7 student can play against year 11 or grade 10 14 divided by 5 that's, will become a decimal and is more more difficult so we can change all that squares and square root you can choose from square numbers so only square numbers will be asked it tells you here or we can just have square roots for player one or for player one we can have squares and square roots and player two at the moment is addition without negatives and no decimals but player two now we want differentiation and differentiation is a level work so we play so player one is working on squares and square roots that could be a year seven student playing against a year 12 or year 13 student working on differentiation okay player one will serve and we've got 21x minus 28x minus 3 so we quickly look through here and we had five seconds left to play and then what's common multiple highest common factor is the same as square root we can choose one or the other or for both and it'll tell you which is chosen here we've got digits to words these are for the smaller students from 0 to enter up to 100 and we've got digits and digits to words So we're both doing digits to words, but player one is doing more advanced digits to words. Got number two, so now we have to find number two on the board. Where's number two? These are easy for player two. Oh, number one. That was easy for player one. We find number six and 41. And we play back and forth. Go back to the main menu we can put the questions on the board this will be the worded questions so we serve so now it's given seven so we have to find the word seven so hopefully we can see or hopefully you can see what's happening we're going to have fractions four rules fractions four rules gives you the option of fraction addition subtraction multiplication division fraction addition and subtraction, multiplication and division are all four rules of fractions and it will tell you again all fractions are selected up here percents of amounts we can choose 10% only so it's only 10% and we could choose multiples of 5 multiples of 10 or over here it says any it doesn't fit into the screen here so we'll choose any for player 2 and then we can play so now player one will be asked wow so we have the answer here and six seconds left to find 34 is maybe about is it that one that was just a guess so if it becomes too hard we give player two extra time to answer or extra time to work out and find the answer on the board factorizing factorizing you can have basic factorizing or you can have harder factorizing 
and if we have the questions on the board you'll be able to see the questions so you see the questions are here the answer is given down here we have 21 seconds to find this out so it must be 16p and 14pr 16p and what was it? 14pr 16p 16p 14pr and I just uh, I I will try another one. So we have, so it's 22 m squared, 10 m r, 22 m squared minus 10 m r, 22 m, which is this one here, and we found it with 12 seconds left to go, and it's right, and now it's passed to 18 c. So it's these are the most difficult. These are the more difficult ones. These are the easier ones for player one. Before and after numbers, you can choose from 1 to 10, so that's up to 10 numbers for. But here we have turn off decimals, turn off negatives. So before and after numbers, maximum one. So there's always go it's always going to be one before, one after. So we want to reduce this time to five seconds. And this before and after number we're going to have all of them turn on the decimals and turn on the negatives but it's up to seven and we see it selected up here but we're going to have the answers on the board for player two but it's more difficult so if we play this game now player one will serve 0 0.2 before 5 0 0.2 before 5 is 4.8 where 4.8 is here and we've got 5 so we've got 1 so it's going to be 1 before 1 after 5 but we ran out of time I forgot we set that for so it's 3 1 before 2 1 after 1 after 3 1 after 4 so you can see it's even though this is easy with the time limit it's Kind of hard. So 0 0.5 before 0 0.3 should be 3 and we can go back and forth. The four rules include addition, subtraction, multiplication and division of negative numbers and decimals. Equations, quadratic roots, differentiation, angle names, board mass, mean, powers of 10, all are just what they say. Square roots you can select from squares, square roots or both, the same as lowest common multiple and highest common factor. Digits to words you can select from 1 to 100. Fractions for rules you can select addition, subtraction, multiplication, division of fractions or addition of subtraction of fractions, multiplication and division of fractions or choose all four rules equivalent fractions are just equivalent fractions find the lowest equivalent fraction percents of amounts formula of number patterns factorizing either basic or harder before and after numbers you can select the number before or after from 1 to 10 and then turn on or turn off negatives and decimal numbers and 24 hour clock is changing 24 hour clock to a.m. and p.m. Adjust all the seconds on the board for differentiation or choose the answers on the board or the questions on the board which makes it a lot harder. This is the most differentiable, versatile, interactive whiteboard mathematics game in the world. Thank you very much for watching from mathsuperstore.com there are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. 
Vocabulary building is ESL software uh, from massupersaw.com. This is Chinese version. You can change buttons to Chinese, so all the things are in Chinese or back to English. So a Chinese teacher or Chinese student without knowing any English can follow all the way through the software. Change it back to English. Now select any one of these. We'll select animals and it will go directly to it. But these are being updated uh, for the education show where you can select as many as you want and then go to the board. But this will go direct to the board and we'll have all these choices. We can do practice, we can one word. One word is the same as practice but a single word and it's bigger, it fits on the screen. Uh, we can check, we can make a, do a test. We've got one, two, three box sheets and a glossary. The glossary lists all the 30 words in the section you chose. This in Chinese and in English. Select sheet. If we go to practice, on practice we have the Chinese characters here. We can change it to English. So for small Chinese students just learning, they can pronounce the words here. A frog, like that. But when you click this, frog, it will actually say it in English. So a student learning by themselves, frog, can repeat it, frog, as many times as they want. Camel, camel, or you get ra rabbit, rabbit, and if they get it right, rabbit, they get it right, get it wrong, or they go to the Chinese version. You go to the Chinese characters and then the student will have to say this is a uh, cow cow and this is bird bird uh, this is fish fish they can practice their english from the chinese characters and this will be horse horse and it shows a word at the bottom and it says that this will be fly fly i only know chinese characters for animals i i've learned them as as a byproduct of using this software press new and it will mix up the Chinese characters or the English words that whatever you're using. If you go to select sheet the one word is exactly the same but it's for a teaching it's a teaching resource for the whiteboard at the front or it could be used at like uh, flashcards. Monkey Crocodile So you can do it in English or Chinese and that must be crocodile. Crocodile. So this is a, a sheep. Sheep. So now here we have chicken. So in Chinese we can click it. Chicken. And say the word in English. And this is a big fish. So it's crocodile. Crocodile. So we go back to select sheep. We can do a test. We can have the questions in English, then in Chinese. Or we can have a mixture of both, or we can have only Chinese, whichever one you want to concentrate on. So this one here is a bird. So we select bird, and we can change these. Uh, if we choose panda here, we can see it's chosen as panda, but if we go for bear or pig, we can change it as many times as we want. Here we have chicken. And there's 25 questions, so if you scroll down, there's 25 questions. Here we go, we'll get some of these right and some of them wrong. Well, this is cow, and uh, we'll put all the center ones in. So the last one is right. You can put your name in, and then press results. It will go to your answer sheet. Here on the answer sheet, it gives a date it was taken. The question that was asked in Chinese, the choice you made, bird, pig, chicken, bird is right, chicken is right, bear, pig is wrong, I chose pig but it was bear. The ones I didn't choose have got a zero at them and here we have cow at the bottom which is correct. The others are wrong, I didn't choose anything for this one and my name was HFF. It's got 3 out of 25 and a percentage. Students can use this in the house. Parents can check the progress of their own students. They can set tests for them. Press new test. Every time it's a new test, if you look at all the questions and the answers, they're always different. And they're always 
mixed up. If we go back to the choose sheet, there's three types of worksheets. Worksheet one <coughs> is multiple choice with ten choices. All the answers are provided on all the worksheets. So if you press new, it generates a brand new set of worksheets and you can print all these out. Make sure you print the answers out if you don't know. Okay, worksheet two, multiple choice in the same format as a test with one, two, three, four, five options. Worksheet three is for more advanced when you're translating from English to Chinese. If we go to the answers, we can translate from English to Chinese. We can choose Chinese to English or both. An English speaking teacher doesn't need to know what these Chinese characters mean, but they know if they write the correct answer here. So they don't need to speak Chinese to know if they're getting it correct. And the same goes for the Chinese teacher can give them a worksheet and all the answers are going to be in Chinese and they don't need to know what these are because all the answers are provided for them. You can print out as many of these as you want. There is an infinite supply and there's 140 different topics over 4,000 words. This is a teaching resource and learning resource for ESL from MathSuperstore.com. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Uncover the picture is exactly what it says. There's a picture underneath all these numbers. Uh, the students have to work out the number in the blue box and find it on the grid. It will uncover part of that picture. And we can keep going. And when the students are finished, they can press reset or show it to the teacher if they're working on a laptop or a computer. If they're on the whiteboard, just press reset for a, a new board. And then the next student can come to the whiteboard. It can be used on a laptop, touch screen, or, or on a whiteboard in the classroom uh, for a fun activity. This one is powers and roots. There's also mean percentages of amounts. Powers and roots, Pythagoras, substitution, bod mass, equations one, equations two, four rules, fractions of an amount, fractions to decimals, highest common factor and lowest common multiple. Uncover the picture has all those versions. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. This is a mastermind game uh, from three letters to 12 letters. If we select the three letters, it plays like mastermind. Uh, the old classic game. It gives you one letter to start with and it's in yellow. All the correct answers or the correct letters are in yellow. So we type in the box uh, hot, a three letter word and check it when it's done. All the correct letters are in yellow. The correct letters in wrong position I believe are blue and that remains white if it's incorrect. So if we type in the box uh, pan, a three letter word, press done to check it, A and N are wrong. So we try pot, pen, and I'll try that. I 
to try pin, but I've already tried N twice and it's not in there. Uh, uh, PU, I've already tried T, so that's not in there. PU, L, if I try I, P, I, N, I've already tried N up here, so I'll try pig. And I press done and when it's right, it will go to directly to a new question, and we start again. And we can try uh, mum, and M is right, U is right. M is right, but in the wrong place, because it's at the beginning. If we have a clue, if it gets too difficult, we can have a clue. It's something to do with the kitchen, so I think it's a mug, M-U-G. Press done, and it's right. If we go to the main menu, and we can do the same for 12 letter words, which is a lot harder. We can have a clue, friends and family, maybe it's ancestor, something like that. This has got one, two, three, four, six options before you lose. There's also a version with 12 choices. This is a 12 choice version. If we choose five letters, it will go to a board, and there's 12 choices now. And it's a one to five letter word. So we type in uh, some. We've got E right, but M, O, and T uh, are not right. With the Mastermind game, it works on some kinds of logic. So you can use your choices to type in. There should be a, another vowel in this word. So uh, we haven't used A, I. E is right. And. You. Even though this is not a word, so there's only one vowel here. Maybe it's got two E's in it. So to try something that goes with an S, and I've just saw sheep, and I think that's right. I'll go for a clue. It's tools. So the clue is tools. I um, I cannot think of a five letter word which is tools so I will use TR M I've already used M L C we've got an R and a C but both in the wrong place so now if we try to put, to put S C R E screw and with the logic I was able to figure it out I'm pretty sure this is in the tools and Yes, I'm right. I'll go to a new word and try again. Back on the main menu, this mastermind also has from three letters to twelve letters. So you can differentiate between classes, um, or have a fun start, a fun plenary, even in a competition or tournament. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files, plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Some of the English worksheets from uh, mathsuperstore.com. Uh, this is a game make four in a row. Cut out the boxes below and we've got a cinnamon of Dash, the cinnamon of enormous, uh, the cinnamon of formally, the cinnamon of correct. And you turn the cards upside down, and two players turn over one card and try and match it, uh, find the cinnamon on the board, and then try and get four in a row. If they can't uh, find the cinnamon, they put it at the bottom of the pile and then carry on. Uh, we've got antonyms here, which is played the same way antonyms of achieve. Uh, the antonym of offer, antonym of lie, and we have to find it on the board. Uh, we can press new, it will generate a new set of questions, and press new again, and there will be a, a new set. Okay, we can have cinnamons, antonyms, or both. Um, if you cut up the board as well, you can use it as a pairing game. There's many different ways to use these resources. Here we have fill in the missing vowels. Uh, so this one will be I'm having fun and um, so there's a space between this so I am a boy 
check the answers, it'll go to the answer sheet. I am having fun, I am a boy. Where do you come from? It's too sharp. If you press new, it'll generate a new set of questions for you. If we go to worksheet, now the worksheet is for working on the board. So the teacher is standing at the uh, interactive whiteboard and the students are trying to figure out what vowels are missing from these sentences and what the sentences should be. All the answers are there for the teacher, so the teacher doesn't have to work anything out. You press new and it'll generate a new set of questions. Go back to the worksheet and we can see all the vowels are missing. Okay, this is a parts of speech. Um, worksheet generator and whiteboard resource. They've got nouns, verbs, adjectives, uh, all parts of speech. We can select a mixture, we'll do that later. If we go to nouns, do you see that boy over there? It will speak the question. Do you see the boy over there? It will say, say the noun and then uncover it. And the noun boy. is boy. Click on it. He drove It'll his car very fast. It will speak the answer, and we're finding the car. noun, so it must be car. car. You will find it at the bottom. We can select questions with no speaking, and then the teacher's in full control of students reading it out and or giving the answers. We have five children. Finding the noun again must be f children. Could you get some bread when you go out? It must be bread. And if we go back to the main menu, we can do the same for verbs. Mike saw the street was empty, adverbs. so he could safely cross. Adverb. The adverb is describing safely. the verb, so it must be safely. She carefully cuts the paper in half. This can be used for ESL, uh, for a non-English uh, teacher as a computer speaks question that can be used in the UK, America, anywhere. Uh, if we go to the main menu, select mixture. Here we can choose. We can have nouns uh, and we can have verbs. We can choose them all or any combination we want and we can go to no speaking questions. So here we have, we're finding the noun this time, the movie, and when it changes now it's a verb. So I'll be singing and it'll come up with a random selection of nouns, verbs and I think it was adverbs which I chose. So be lost. If we go to worksheet, uh, there's printable worksheets. Uh, Ten questions here, you press new and it'll generate new worksheets. Here we're just looking for the nouns. If we select mixture, we can select any any mixture of the, these we want, nouns, adverbs and adjectives. It will tell us what we've chosen here uh, and conjunctions and oh I made a mistake, I didn't want conjunctions so if I press it again it will take it away. It tells you here, click once to add it, then click again to remove it. We can select no questions, speaking questions, main menu of the worksheet, if we go to the worksheet, here we have a worksheet. Uh, for nouns, adjectives and adverbs and sentences the questions are here's a noun, adjective, 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 adverb at the bottom if we press new it will generate a new set of questions the answers are, are all here uh, so I, even if it's non-English specialist taking the class they always have the answers the worksheets are printable they're formatted in a nice way so you can make an infinite supply of these. Uh, then we can go back to the menu and then make an infinite supply of worksheets for prepositions, interjections and conjunctions. Press new, 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 new. Uh, the worksheets will be generated for you. That's just some of the software from the English parts of uh, MassSuperStore.com. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more.
There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Play the Maths Jeopardy game from MathSuperstore.com. Select six topics and the topics are shown at the top and the types of questions underneath. When six is selected, the game board appears. Choose a value a question. The higher the value, the more difficult the question. When selected and the answer is given, click again. It will show the answer, then select whether that player was right or wrong. It automatically keeps score for each player. If they get it wrong, there's no score added. 3 squared is 9. Player 1 gets that right. 200 points are added. Player 2 gets that right. Now they've got 400 points. As player 2 has gone, and now player 2 is overtaken. When completed, you can have a new game. And the topics haven't changed. But the questions have. As the square root of 36, every time the game is played, the square root of 16 is 4. All the questions are different. The square root of 25. But always at the same level, change topics. You can select any of the topics above. Clear the topics, or you can select all the same. You can select all subtraction. And now they're all subtraction, and you're only concentrating on subtraction. And notice the questions are different. Enjoy from MassSuperStore.com. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Tarsia puzzles from MassSuperSource.com. This is the four rules version. You can select the values of addition and subtraction. You can go from 10 up to 1,000. Uh, multiplication and division goes from 5 up to 50. Uh, here we have 80 and 50. We can just change it now. It's 70. The highest number in, in addition and subtraction will be 70. We can choose addition, and I'll tell you at the top, addition selected, or we can choose only subtraction, or we can use multiplication, or only division. We can select addition and subtraction. We can select multiplication and division. We can have all. We can turn on negatives if we want. So if we have a look, uh, we have addition and subtraction, and we've turned on the negatives. So if we go to the print sheet, here we have a print sheet, these are triangles for the students to cut out. We have minus 45 plus minus 3, so it's minus 48, that will go to minus 48. Here's a minus 48 one. Uh, but when they cut up, and but when the students cut them up, and then they have to arrange them into a, a large triangle. If you go to print answers, it will show you how the triangle should look. And this is all the answers. If you press new, it will generate a new puzzle and you will see that the highest addition value will be 70. There is a minus 75 up here but that is the answer to the question. The questions only go up to the value of the highest number in the question goes up to 70 as we selected. If we go to the menu for our next class instead of addition and subtraction we want multiplication and these are very good so we're going to turn off the negatives so I've got multiplication and division selected, but the values go up to 50. So if go to print sheet, and now with multiplications, they will go all the way up to 50. They could be 1 and 2. I can't see it. Oh, there's 41, uh, there's 41 multiplied by 3. Here we have 528 divided by 16, and the answer will be 50 or less. If you press new, it will generate a new tertiary puzzle for you. There's also a maths version. You can choose from equations, bod maths, fractions to decimals, mean, 
lowest common multiple, highest common factor, multiples, 24 hour clock, percentages of multiples of 5, of amounts, squares and square roots, fractions of amounts, angle names and percentages of any amounts. So if we choose angle names, it's easier to see. It will create a Tarsier ta puzzle for angle names. So 90 degrees will fit next to a right angle. But it needs to form, at the end, a full large triangle. So there may be a right angle here, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And if the students put this 90 degrees down where this one is here, it wouldn't work. So it can become quite complicated. If we go back to the main menu and just show your equations, they are the same. Uh, but this time we've got equations in the Tarsier puzzles and as always all the answers are there. You press new and there's a new set of, there's a new Tarsier puzzle. And you have an infinite supply of these for any of the topics that have been shown. This is correct. The code, there's no answers on this one because you will see the answer when the students have worked out. So it's for reading coordinates. We've got these words here. It will make some kind of lame joke. So 0, 5 uh, will be a W, could be what, when. And 5, 0, so it's W, H, minus 3, uh, sorry, minus 1, 3, A. And minus 1, 4, I guess it would be T. So I'll be what, something, 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 something. And you will see it makes a joke. Press new. And it generates a new puzzle for you with a different new joke. Press new again. And we've got another new one. Press new. And we have another new one. We can also go to custom. Here, you enter your text. Only punctuation you can use are commas, full stops, and question marks. And you can type text up to 210 characters long. This is a sample for grade 8. Full stop. Go to the worksheet. And now we'll see this, this code will produce, this is a sample for grade 8. So minus 4 minus 3 must be t and it is 2 minus 5 is h this will be i 3 minus 3 3 minus 3 is i minus 3 minus 3 will be s so this is a so this will be minus 4 minus 2 this will be a so minus 4 minus 2 is a so we can see any, you can write any sentence that you like and make your, and create your own custom puzzles. And press new when it sets custom puzzles, the sentence you typed in will always be the answer, but the grid will change. Press new again, and it's a different grid, but uh, this as a sample for grade 8 will always be the answer. And then you can go back to random, and it'll be a randomly generated lame joke. This is a homework revision and classwork generator. This generates worksheets uh, for, for either homework revision and classwork. So we can choose from any of these topics we want. Uh, we can do uh, differences, multiples, division, bod mass. Uh, if we go for bod mass, okay, we've selected bod mass. And if we go to the worksheet, we'll have a worksheet. This is a worksheet on, this is the day I'm recording this, 26th of October 2019. And this is a whole worksheet on bod mass. And I tell you at the bottom, this whole worksheet covers bod mass. If we go to the main menu, uh, this time I want to create a, a worksheet using a variety of these. So we'll have addition and we'll have, uh, we'll have significant figures mixed numbers, factors, angle names, expand and simplify, and probability. So if we go to the worksheet now, here we have write all the factors here, write, rewrite as a top heavy fraction, we roll two dice, uh, 
right to one significant figure and down at the bottom it says the homework sheet covers addition angle names mixed numbers whatever we selected title of the homework sheet here we have mass homework for this date if we click this it'll toggle between maths revision sheet maths worksheet and maths homework if we don't like the title we can go and we can enter in our own title we can put this as Stacy so this is so Stacy's homework this could be grade 8 or class 2 EB or 11 G or whatever title you want to put in uh, if we have multiplying brackets uh, for Stacy and reducing ratios and if we go to the worksheet here we have Stacy's worksheet this is a home worksheet for Stacy and we'll have reduce the following reducing ratios expand and simplify reducing ratios and it says this home worksheet covers multiplying out brackets and reducing ratios I think I said expand and simplify before and with all the options here you could you can create almost a full year supply of worksheets home worksheets and class worksheets uh, for your class this file is in the worksheets only file of the infinite supply of worksheets from MathSuperstore.com. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Some of the data handling worksheets from the infinite supply of worksheets. If we go to worksheet, worksheet is a worksheet for the board that will fit automatically to your screen. So it will take up all the space that you can have on your screen. The students will work out these probability questions, uh, find the probability of not selecting a blue, so it's this one includes uh, and or not so we've got one two three and I think it's 20 in three out of 20 it's already in its lowest form probably of selecting a red is two out of ten two out of twenty so it will be one tenth go to the answers I was going fa so fast I got it wrong it's 17 out of 20 because it was not selecting a blue and find the probability of selecting a red count as one out of ten in its lowest form if we press new I will generate new questions for the students to work on the board and you've always got the answers as soon as the students are finished and then you've instantly got more examples to work through or for the students to practice or revise for the exams go to print sheet if we look at the print sheet we'll see the print sheet is nicely formatted it's got a place for your name mark and on the worksheet there's eight questions all related to here and the answer sheet is in the same format so marking any worksheets uh, for homework or anything is much easier you don't have to search through a student's book to find the answer it's already there in that box and there's an infinite supply of these you just keep pressing new and they'll all be different there's also Venn diagrams uh, draw a Venn diagram. This is Venn diagrams two. So there's, there's one, two, three different Venn diagram files. If you press new, we must be on the answers here. So we're on the print sheet answers, and there, there's a print sheet or the worksheet to print. You notice all these numbers are changing. Multiples of four, five. Multiples of three and four, and the answers are already there for you to print out or you can work from the worksheet which is from the board uh, so you draw a Venn diagram for these go to the answers and it will give you the answers and you press new and it will generate new and new questions new answers and multiples of uh, 8 and 7 these are all multiples of 7 these are all multiples of 8 and these are all multiples of 7 and 8 there's 1, 2, 3, 50, 6 is in there that's Venn diagrams and there's an infinite supply of them here we have box plots again you press new it'll create a new box plot for you 
the box plots below represent the average temperature of Glasgow and London. So here's the average temperatures in Glasgow, here's the average temperatures in London, and this is a worksheet you can print out. Here's all the questions, the lowest temperature in Glasgow, uh, question 9 is the upper quartile in London, so question 1 was the lowest temperature in Glasgow, press new, uh, now question 1 is the lower, is what was the lowest quartile in London. If we go to the worksheet, but this time the students are working from the board, and the answers, you just click answers, and the answers there are already worked out for you, press new, and it will generate new ones. And there's an infinite supply of these worksheets and whiteboard resources. So we have bar charts, we have 100 people who are asked a favourite fruit. Uh, and the data is here. Uh, this has already been completed, so we're not on the worksheet. So the worksheet is here, it's a little bit bigger because it's zoomed in uh, automatically. Uh, but this is the same question as before. If we go back to answers, it'll be the same size. And here we have, it's the same size. So now if we go to the worksheet, here we have a worksheet and we press new and there's new questions, new questions, new questions and all the answers are already there. You know exactly what to look for. Press new and it generates more, more, more. Go back to the worksheet and the students or pupils have to fill in the bar chart. Uh, that's some of the data handling worksheets from the infinite supply of worksheets from masterpistore.com. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Here we have a four rules worksheet or worksheet generator. If we have a look at the control buttons here on the main menu, so we can have addition from one digit up to six digit addition. If we set it as four digit addition, we could have two rows, three rows, four rows, or any number of rows. If we have three rows, four digit addition, and we select addition, we have a worksheet generated for up to four digit addition with three rows. If we go back to the main menu, here we can uh, select any number of rows and we can select up to five digit addition. And we go back to addition and now there's any number of rows here and when we press new there's an infinite supply of these generated. This sheet is for working on the board. If we go to print sheet Okay, here we have the print sheet version, you can see, you press new and it will change through the parameters of what we set, and here we have the answers, make sure you always print off the answers first, the printed sheet will be formatted like this, now if you go back to the main menu, that was addition, we can do a similar thing for subtraction where it's up to six digits, uh, and you can print the worksheets as well. For multiplication, we can choose a one, two, three, four digit multicand. I'll toggle back to one, or a w and a one or two digit multiplier. For division, we can choose a one or two digit divisor and a four up to a four digit answer. We could select addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division. That will generate worksheets for whatever the settings here. Uh, we could choose addition and subtraction, where it generates addition and subtraction sums. We can go back to the main menu, choose multiplication and division. Notice, notice the title of the sheet changes, multiplication and division. So here we have uh, division, multiplication, multiplication, division. Press new and you'll notice it'll all change. They'll change places and change formatting automatically. If we go back to the main menu and here we have four rules, that is all of them. We can. This is all four rules. Uh, so we'll have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and it will be with these settings here. So we go to four, four rules, we'll see here's subtraction, two-digit divisor, multiplication, three-digit by one-digit, 
We've got subtraction four digits by four digit, and it's three digit addition, but any number of row. If we press new, we can see them change. If we go to print sheet, there's an infinite supply of these. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. This is Trap the Ghost, a printable maths game. But the students have to trap the ghosts. A ghost is trapped after the last hexagon surrounding that ghost is filled in. The student who colours the last one in can colour the ghost in, and the winner is the one who captures the most ghosts. This game is set for totals of two dice, so they roll two dice, add the totals, and then find the number on the grid here. If they cannot find the number because they've all been used, then they miss a turn and it goes to the next player. If we press new, it will generate a new board game. But if we go to menu, we have different selections here. Here we can have uh, totals of two dice and multiples of one die. Now multiples of one die, if we go to the print board game, here we have a number one. So if you set the rules as, if you roll one, number one has to be on the board. If it's not, then you cannot use it. You miss a go because one is a factor of all the numbers. So go back to the main menu and we have multiples of two dice. So they roll two dice and multiply them together. Number bonds of 150 with squares of two dice. So they roll two dice, find the total and square it. So if they roll six and six and the total is 12, they square that to 144. So we have 144 and it's a number bond up to 150. So the number bond that makes 150 is 6. They can choose to colour any of the 6s anywhere on the board. So it can become a little bit tactical as well. If we go back to the main menu, squares of 2 dice, add the totals of 2 dice and square the number. Number bonds of 50 with 2 dice. So we add the 2 dice and then find the number that makes up to 50. Two dice multiply together, add in squares of two dice. So you roll the two dice, square one, square the other, and add them together. So these are eight variations of this game uh, ro with rolling two dice. But if we go to the card games, now we have different selections of cards that we can use. Okay? Ideas for play. There's many, many different ways to play. Uh, you can cut out the cards, mix them up, and place them in a pile, and each student takes it in turns to take the card. If they make a mistake, they place it back at the bottom of the pile, or deal five, six, seven cards to each student, and then on the student's turn, they can choose to use any card in the hand. The rules of the games can be adapted any way you want. Okay, we have adding and subtracting. Adding and subtractive negative numbers, multiplication, multiplication of negative, division of negatives, adding and subtracting decimals, uh, multiplication of decimals, division of decimals, division of negative decimals, we have equations 1, 2, the mean, squares and square roots, percentages easy, percentages harder, and fraction pairs to make 1. So if we choose one of these, fraction pairs to make 1. Here are the cards you print out and then cut out. We'll have to remember some things here. We have one fifth first and four sixths second. So if we remember those two, we need to find a fraction of four fifths to make this into one, or or one third uh, to make this one into one. So we go to the print board and we have a look, and we need to find a fraction which is equal to four sixths to colour it in. You can see this is a lot harder than the simple rolling two dice games so this can be used in a higher level class and it's just as much fun for them so to recap we can choose to play rolling and dice games one two three four five six seven eight of them or there's different versions of card games that you can play if you select any of the card games if we choose equations one here 
and we go to print cards. The cards that you print out will be related to the board that's produced. So the first equation here is 9x plus 6 equals 24. If we go to the board, this board is related to those equations. So if you press new, it will not change. To make a new equation one game, you have to go through the process again. Go to card games, and equations are selected, print cards, and there are new equation cards done that relate to the new board. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Some samples of worksheets in the Infinite Maths software. Here are multiplication puzzles and you solve each multiplication row and each multiplication column. If you want a new one then as always you click new and it will generate new puzzles for you. This is for working on the whiteboard and the answers are all there for you. And you can go back to the worksheet, select new puzzles. If we go to print sheet, we can print these puzzle sheets out and also print the answers out. We can change on the main menu, uh, we can change to addition puzzles and go back to the worksheet and we can see them. Here are the addition puzzles. Notice the title changes. If we go to change again, here addition and subtracting values, we can go from 10 all the way up to 1000 so we can easily differentiate our worksheets so addition and subtraction if we want to choose only addition, only subtraction, only multiplication, only division we can have addition and subtraction, multiplication and division or we can have all four rules we can turn on and off negatives negatives were turned on so we turn off negatives and we're going to do addition and subtraction up to 10. So we go here, tells you at the top addition and subtraction is selected and it's up to 10. Go to the worksheet and now we have an easier addition subtraction puzzle for the less able or lower grades. If we go to back to change we can select the value of multiplication all the way from 5 up to 50. If we want to go up as high as 50, we can turn on the negatives. Uh, so we see there should be easy addition and subtraction and very difficult multiplication and division. We want to select all, so we select all. And now if we go to the print sheet, we will see we have difficult multiplication questions, we have easy subtraction questions, difficult division questions, uh, difficult multiplication questions and easy addition because that's the values we set. If we press new it will generate an infinite supply of these worksheets. The answers are all here so make sure you print the answer worksheet out. If we press new we can generate an infinite supply of these at any level and we can easily differentiate the class worksheets and home worksheets. Here's a number riddles file. Again, if we press new, it generates new number riddles. We can go to the print sheet, and the print sheet is formatted in a nice way. If we go to the worksheet, the worksheet is always for working on the board. So these can be on the whiteboard. It will fit automatically to the size of your whiteboard or the computer screen you're using press new and it will generate new number riddles go to answers and the answers are always there and you can have as many of these as you want types of number again we have a worksheet where we can work on the whiteboard and we can always press new the answers are always available so the students get instant feedback for all the work or any work that they do 
and the teacher never has to work anything out. He will have all all the even numbers that are inside the centre box, all the prime numbers that are inside the centre box, all the multiples of 9 that are inside there, the square numbers and all the factors of 48. We press new and now we have all the factors of 36 and all the multiples of 11, all the square numbers etc. If we go to print sheet, we can print these off as homework sheets or classwork sheets and all the answers are always there for the teacher to print out so the teacher saves time by not having to work anything out and these can generate an infinite supply here's level one we have levels one two and three and you'll see level three the numbers that they're using are much larger so you can differentiate the worksheet and again there's an infinite supply of these worksheets here are mental chains uh, for using on the whiteboard there's no there's no printable sheet for these this is just a whiteboard resource. Uh, if you press new, it'll generate new number chains. So we've got 5 times 6, which is 30. We use the answer from the first question, multiplied by 8, which is 240. The next one is double this, add 9, which is 289. When the time limit the teacher has set is over, uh, the teacher can click on these boxes, and it will show the running totals add the square root of 16 and then we'll get the final answer press new and we have a new one it can be very easy to mark if we go to the last answer we can find out if the students have got this and if there's any mistakes uh, then we can easily track back and find out where the mistake is and you can press new and you have an infinite supply of these here we have snake calculations which is basically just a long bod mass calculation we can print worksheets out for homework or classwork we can always press new and generate a new one we can change the type of question we can have addition subtraction addition and subtraction or all four rules you cannot have multiplication and or division uh, by themselves because the number would go too high or it would go into decimals if we choose all four rules we can find the total and all the numbers are here and we have to find the total down here we can change that and make it more difficult we can have missing signs and now some of the signs are missing and we've got the total this makes it a lot more difficult we can change it again now we're missing numbers and now some of the numbers are missing but the signs are there uh, that's snake calculations again there's an infinite supply of these First 100 is a, is a game like snakes and ladders. You roll two dice or you can roll one die. And you follow the instructions here. A red means move back to the previous red square. Green move forward to the next green square. Pink will roll an even number to continue. Or, and blue is you have another go to roll again. Press new and it generates a new board. Here we have paper fortune teller maker or as it's called in America, uh, clutie catchers. Here we can turn on decimals and turn off decimals for the four rules part and we can choose addition, subtraction level that we want here and the size of multiplication and division. If we turn off decimals we notice it goes a lot higher. Uh, if we choose formulas of number patterns and we see the clue catcher here or the paper fortune teller here we fold it up and then we can play our paper fortune telling game and then we press new and we can generate as many of these as you want go to the menu and then we have a a younger class coming in so we change it down to addition up to 10 and we can go and make a new game so we've got 10 plus 1 is 11 6 plus 5 is 11 and you use it as paper fortune telling game a fun way to learn and practice and have students become involved in your class you have metal tests questions up to 20 so you can select 20 questions here so if we select five questions and then press new the teacher can either read these out or can just click on the box when enough time has passed and the students have to write down the correct answer. 
So the teacher moves on by clicking the box. How many 50s make up 600? Two angles of triangle. And these questions are always different. How many times bigger than 50 is 400? So question 4 should be 8 times bigger. And this should be the last question. I'll tell you when you're finished here. When you're finished, click on answers and it will show you the answers on the screen for any number up to 20. This is early finisher cards. Here you can print out these cards, put them on card and if they finish early you can give these cards to the students. The answers are always available if, if the teacher wants to print them out as well. If we go back to cards we can go to random we'll select if you see the number at the top 8692 that's the number of card 22, 24 or we can go ordered if it's ordered it'll go number 1, 2, 3 and then the new ones will be 4, 5, 6 and the new ones will be 7, 8, 9 these are card riddles what has a head and a tail but no body that must be a coin what has an eye but cannot see which is a needle so if you go to the answers these should be already printed out I print all the answers out into a booklet it's easy to find because the numbers are here well, as a head and a tail, no body is a coin, and a needle has an eye but cannot see. This is the card riddles version. There's also a, a version which is similar with lateral thinking puzzles, and there's also a version with thunks, which are statements to make people think, and there's no right or wrong answer, maybe. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. This is a table tennis game for an interactive whiteboard for ESL. This is Chinese version from mathsuperstore.com. As we see, the buttons and headings are in English. If we click here, it will change them all to Chinese, so a Chinese teacher, Chinese student can follow and realize where they are. We can change the buttons back to English for English teacher or English student. At the top here, we've got player one time, player two time. We can set the time from five seconds all the way up to 59 seconds for each player. So we can differentiate by giving a weaker student more time to answer. We can go from Chinese to Chinese to English, English to Chinese. We'll set one of each here or mixed. Mixed would be either. Set player one questions. Now the questions you, you select these buttons okay, and there are 140 of these with 30 words behind each one all related to the heading. So that's over 4,000 words. We'll set player two questions. Okay. It says play, but if we do not select any topic, it will not let you move from the screen. You need to select at least one topic. And then we can play. This is a table tennis board. You have to have the service to win a point. The scores are kept in the blue box at the top. The player one's answers are in English, and player two's are in Chinese. Okay, player one serves and player two will be get asked a question, find fly. So we have to find fly in here. There may be one, there may be more uh, correct answers in the box. If the answer is correct, it will disappear from the grid. Okay, and now player two's screen is highlighted in green, it's their go. If they run out of time and the service will be kept past player two, but they will not get a point. They can only get a point if they actually serve. So if we get it wrong, if we go for fly again, get it wrong, player two will get a point here. And it will be their, their service again. And if we go back to the main menu, If we choose mixed, it will just change the answers from English. Sometimes the answers will be English, sometimes they'll be in Chinese. 
If we go to set player one questions, and as I said before, there's 140 headings. We can select all, and it will automatically select all of them for you, or we can clear all, or we can go and select one, two, three, four, 139 of them. So player one could be working on animals, bathroom, one, energy, and farm. Whereas player two, who could be in another class, could be working on uh, beach, driving, and food, and family. So it can be working on different topics at the same time. I'm not going to be able to answer these. Okay. And we can see from the English, we have uh, rake, trowel, cat. So we've got animals and soap, which was bathroom powders, bathroom, and I don't know what these Chinese things are, I'm not that good, but you'll see the topics we selected, they are in there somewhere. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. Addition number searches from mathsuperstore.com Here we have totals are given as a clue. We have a selection of grids from 20 times 20 grid with the answers, the solutions are given as a clue, remember? and a 5 by 5 grid. Now, first solution is 11, so we have to find the 11 first, and then two numbers next to it that make up 11, so it's 5 plus 6 equals 11. Okay. 18, so we have to find 18. 18 is here, but 4 plus 0 is not 18, so we need to find another 18. So we've got 18, 8 plus 2 is 18. But here's another 18. I've got 9 plus 9 equals 18. Next one is 14. So we find 14 first. There's a 14 here, but there's a 14 here. But 8 plus 6 is 14. So 8 plus 6 is 14. And then we find 10. There's a 10 here. But 6 plus 9 is not equal 10. There's another 10 here. 4 plus 1 is not equal 10, but there's another 10 here, but 2 plus 8 equals 10, so 2 plus 8, 2 plus 8 equals 10. You press new, and it'll generate a new one, so we've got five, 4 plus 5 equals 9, and we circle this addition sum. We can do the same thing for 2020, and the close of 12, which is much, much harder. So we've got 12 here. I'm not going to look for it. 7 plus 8 is 15, so that's not right. Okay. And you set, you set any size of grid you want, and the, the answer to the addition sum is given as a clue. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. The code generator software for coordinates from mathsuperstore.com. These are worksheets only. The worksheets are printable. The clues are underneath to find the letter on the grid. So this will start minus one, minus four, minus one, minus four. The first letter is I. There's a break between here, so there'll be a break between the words. Minus five zero is W. Minus one two is A. I was 
and two zero. I was, and it'll build up into a lame joke. You can press new, new. It will generate a new one and a new set of questions. This time it's zero zero four one, so it's W four minus one H. Probably what? There's over a hundred lame jokes that will generate randomly, or you can customise it. Punctuation, only use commas, full stops and question marks. Okay, so you type your sentence in here. Anything, anything you want, question mark. Go to the worksheet. Now you've got your own. This should read anything you want. And you is minus one, minus three. Minus one, minus three is Y. Two zero is O. Minus three, three is U. Press new. And it will generate with the same phrase a different grid. So 1 minus 5 should be y, 1 minus 5 is y, minus, five, minus 1 minus 5, minus 1 minus 5 is o, and if we look at u, it should be 5 minus 2, and it is. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files. There are 150 math board sheet files plus our geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019. The Squares and Squares Root Game from MathTruperStore.com You can change the highest square number from 5 all the way up to 25. We'll play at 12. You can choose a toggle between answers shown or the question shown or mixed. The answer shown, it shows the answer and you have to figure out which makes that answer. Here there's two players, player one, player two, and they both work together at the same time. Both sides of the board work independently of each other. So choose eight squared and we get a point and we find 9 the square root of 81 and 9 squared and 100 wherever that is. If we get it wrong then we lose a point and if the other players are playing it does go to minus numbers and the teacher can set up however they want to play it. You can have single players for playing for a, a set time, one minute or two minutes. Or you can have a, a race to see who's first to get to 10 or 20 right answers. Or you could have two teams where the one at the front of the line comes and, and clicks on the question on the board and then goes to the back of the line and then the next person comes to the front. <coughs> Change the game. We can change the values, we'll change it down to 7, and we'll have the question shown. The question shown, now it's the square root of 16 and the square root of 9. It works all in the same way. I'll change the game and have it mixed. And now... Sometimes it's answers to find the question, sometimes it's question to find the answers. And I'll keep track. And like I say, there's many different ways to play this game or to use this resource. Okay, thank you very much for listening. Uh, there's plenty of other resources at mathsuperstore.com. There are 580 infinite maths files. There are 55 English as a second language files. There are 84 game files.
There are 150 maths board sheet files. Plus there are geography, English, science, history, sign language and much more. There are 1,450 files in total on the 26th of October 2019.